Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On The Paint Table. It's my weekly show where you see what I got done, what I'm working on, and what is coming up. So, first things first, I'll address the elephant in the room. Uh, I went for Halloween this year as a totally different person. Um, and you can tell me in the comments how quickly you would like my beard to grow back. Uh, on a scale of one to I'm unsubscribing. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I imagine that um, I look a little bit different, but this is what I look like without a beard, and it'll be back as soon as I can hold my breath and push long enough to, to push a new one out, uh, probably a week or so. So, uh, I got 28 models painted this week. I managed to uh, clear off the um, majority of the unpainted stuff I had for the Galactic Republic for Star Wars Legion. I have one large-ish model left to paint. And then I'm all out of Legion models to paint for the GAR. Um, I'm gonna play some more games actually this weekend. And then I painted up the first like three games-ish worth of stuff for Silver Bayonet, uh, the new Osprey War game coming soon that features a Napoleonic, Gothic, Black Powder, horror sort of setting. Uh, and I, uh, I actually got a bunch of the scenario models ready to go and have a bunch more to, to do for like the last two sort of chapters in the story. Uh, and then I collected some new stuff to paint up for next week because I'm actually going to be getting back to some MCP. I'm going to finish up my mutants and I picked up a new game mat and new terrain pack so that I can have a slightly different table. Most of my games so far of MCP have been like city streets. But as you know, there's the whole cosmic universe out there MCP takes place in. So I figured I'd pick up the cosmic mat and terrain pack just so I can change it up a little bit. Uh, as well as a new mutant model, so I can work on my Brotherhood of Mutants uh, and, and play with uh, some cool new stuff, so I grabbed a Mega Red. Uh, I, found, I found it, uh, or dug out a model that I've been wanting to paint for a long time, but didn't have a reason to, uh, for ITS Season 13. I played a couple games of the Battletech campaign that Jay and I are doing, uh, and lost some mechs, I gotta paint some new ones, and some cool new stuff showed up out of the blue too that I'll be showing you. So let's take a look at what got done and what is coming up. So first things first, here's all the stuff I painted up for the Silver Bayonet. It's a combination of 3D printed stuff um, and some great miniatures from Blacklist Games. So I painted up most of my Warband here um, based on the Demon Hunt, I think they're called Demon Hunters, uh, sculpts that Saint Decent has been sculpting. Uh, they fit perfectly for me doing kind of a Spanish Inquisition themed force. So you can see here I have my on the left, Inquisitor, who is actually just a random thing of Earth's miniature, uh, who often says things like, what are you buying and what are you selling as my Inquisitor? Uh, and the rest are all St. Decent sculpts that I 3D printed on my Elegoo Mars 2. Um, so we have Tirante Ramirez and his uh, Spanish Inquisition, along with their Vatican Guard there in the back. That's um, uh, His name is Vactimizer Briner, who falls around the Inquisitor Rubio there uh, to, to try and figure out what's going on with the Harvest Men in Silver Bayonet. Uh, you can check out my GMG review of the rulebook to kind of give you an overview of the rules done already. Uh, and the first uh, game, the Let's Play, will be out on Monday. So you just have to wait for the rest of the weekend and you'll be able to see that soon. And I painted, uh, this is the required, well, almost all, because I had some painted already, um, sort of scenery and terrain stuff, or sorry, bad guy stuff for the solo campaign. Um, you need eight dark wolves and at least two werewolves for the first scenario. And then you need some gravestones which are again, just like a thing of our scrab uh, and some vampires. So most of this stuff is blacklist games. The werewolves, uh, the bigger wolves and the vampires are all blacklist games. I think fantasy series, fantasy miniatures one uh, series. And then the three other dark wolves and um, the uh, gravestones are just thing of our scrabs that I found to, to finish it off. Let me tell you, having a 3D printer makes playing Joe's games way easier. <laughs> so when I go through all the scenarios, I'm like, what do I need? I need a lobster man? Joe, I don't know where to find a lobster man. <laughs> Thankfully, Google uh, provides what I need. Um, and then actually these two, uh, the little like um, clue markers, the investigation markers, are also from Thingiverse. Uh, I just looked for investigation markers and someone had made some for Rangers of Shadowdeep. I'm so sorry, I forget the name of the person, but a quick Google will find you some too because this uh, game does use an investigation um, sort of like system, kind of like Rangers does. So I had some painted up as well. And I finished off my last three Wookiees, so I have a bunch of support pieces for them and three squads. I have two of the melee Wookiee units, the um, Kashyyyk Fighters, and then one Defenders of Kashyyyk like, Long Gun unit. And I painted up an extra Battle Shield, and that way my Long Gunner, who I don't think I'm going to use very often, can double as an additional Battle Shield for my melee units. Uh, and I'm kind of going to double down that way and have that be a double upgrade piece. Um, because I feel like the long gun, the bowcaster is probably the one you'll use the most, and I built the bowcaster slash wiki general, or wiki chieftain rather, um, but then the battle shield for the melee units feels like it's gonna be the thing I use quite often. And just having two boxes of wikis meant that 
I can build three units, two of one type, one of the other, and then three support pieces. So having basically all the options and a double down on the, uh, the what we call the battle shield felt like the right mix. And those are my 28 painted miniatures for the week. Uh, and then over here, we got some stuff coming up. So this is more blacklist game stuff in the back there, the gray stuff. And then just a few extra miniatures. If I want to have a second, your, your warband doesn't grow huge over time, um, but you can have some options. So I might do a junior officer uh, as another option instead of my sapper there. He's doing like the hand gesture. Um, another gren so a grenadier, sorry, in the back there with another um, matchlock and then a second Vatican guard as a monster hunter that I may end up using. I haven't decided yet if I want to do another um, big guy, but I love the miniature so much. And there was a second pose and I converted them actually with old plastic and greatswords. great swords. They both have halberds when you print them, but I felt like the great sword was just a cooler thing. Cause like the Vatican guards are all supposed to be Swiss. So having like some kind of like Germanic Aust Aust Austro uh, Austrio Germanic, I can't remember how to, what the term is there. <laughs> God, I just felt cool. Although, and like actually technically they would have halberds. I just felt like this was just a cooler way to, to make them look. And I wanted to have some stuff that was slightly less breakable. So I just converted them. Uh, and then back here, we've got the last two scenarios for the solo campaign. Uh, some, uh, some goblins and a troll, and then over here, some bandits uh, that can sort of like ambush you out of the night. And those are the, the bits and pieces of Then I'll have all four missions of the solo campaign. Film. Here's my last GAR unit I got to paint up. It's the cool new support platform, uh, which was, the, I guess it, I built it, <laughs> but I left it in sub assemblies because like you won't be able to get to a lot of this stuff when you're priming it. So I left the battle shields off. I left the clone troopers off, so I can prime this gray, I can prime them white, I can prime the straps black, and this gray as well before I paint it, and I'll put it all together at the end. The recon troopers are in a separate frame. I want to do something with them, I don't know what. I, I need ideas. I feel like they would be cool on some other... I don't know, maybe I could convert the rebel ATRTs with these guys into like... Um, into ATRTs for the Republic if I pick up the other box set. Because I'm thinking about picking up the old starter set just to get extra dice, <laughs> honestly. Because it's hard, impossible to buy the dice. And then maybe I have the beginnings of like a Rebel and um, Galactic Empire army. Because uh, the Rebels, the, the all my Wookiees cross over into the Rebel list already. So it means that like, I kind of already have a Rebel army. If I just bought a few odds and ends, like if I had Luke and stuff, then I would have some extra pieces. But I don't know. Maybe. Maybe if someone's got one used or not using. I can grab uh, locally. I don't know. We'll see. And then on the Atomic Mass front, we got my MCP stuff I'm filming for next week, or painting for next week. Uh, I have Toad and Magneto in here, along with Storm, and then uh, Omega Red for the four more heroes I want to paint up, because I want to run a, like a Brotherhood list. And then the Cosmic Terrain pack, I'm going to build up to go with the Cosmic Mat that I also picked up, which just isn't pictured here, because you don't you don't build and paint it, so I didn't stick it on the table. Two more max of replacements for Reynolds Rangers. I want to paint a Thunderbolt, um, because the Thunderbolt actually is like a Torian Concordat staple. They have a factory, I guess, that makes them. So, not no no spoilers, but one of my max did get completely destroyed in our first campaign game, and I had to buy a replacement. So I figured it was a cool time to swap in a Thunderbolt, just so I have like one of the sort of like thematically appropriate mechs for the, the formation. And then I figured I'd paint my Urban Mech in those colors, too because he's cool and having a trash can mech uh, in a Frank Reynolds list just feels appropriate. Taking an infinity uh, boxes I found my authorized bounty hunter which was the N2 preview pre-release model. He doesn't get used very often but he looks a lot like Briarius from Appleseed and I wanted to have a dismount for my boarding shotgun authorized bounty hunter um, that you get as like the ITS miniature. Now they look completely different because she looks more like Dune and Newt on the motorcycle and then Briarius gets off but I don't know man hollow projectors are a thing or hall masks are a thing maybe this is just just how it goes, but it means that I can actually dismount the motorcycle and be able to walk around and stuff too with them. And then finally, third edition Dead Zone showed up. This is exciting. This is the skirmish format game from Mantic um, that plays on a small two by two mat, has gridded movements. So you don't actually use any measuring sticks and uses their proprietary dice system and D8s for resolving damage. Has a brand new rule book, brand new force list for all the existing models um, and piles of terrain here too. So I'm gonna paint this up. I, I need someone to do this with. I, I think Jay and I are gonna do it, but we currently have two projects on the go. We're working on Battletech, uh, and Silver Bayonet, so if someone locally is excited about Dead Zone, let me know and we can jump into this. I'll split the star set with you and, and start the project, but I'm still kind of hunting for a partner to do the project with. And then last but not least, my buddy Darren, he sent me these in a care package to Jay this week, and this is so cool. If you don't know what these are, these are OG Space Fleet Imperial ships. Uh, he was watching the um, Let's Play I did for Space Fleet, where I only had one of the plastic Imperial ships in there, but I had a ton of Eldar. And I now have three Imperial ships because these are the old metal ones. Look at how cool they are. I don't remember what class this is. 
but it means that I can probably find, I'll, I'll find the um, expanded rules for the game that were in White Dwarf. I'll just like search the net for them. And I'll have enough ships to play like a proper game of Space Fleet, which is pretty cool. Because I can paint up some additional Eldar ships and then have these um, Imperial ships. And I do actually have extra flying stands in that box. So it's perfect. I can paint these up some, some more Eldar and we can like check out the expanded Space Fleet rules. Uh, so huge thanks to him. You guys, uh, if you're wondering who he is, he um, was a guy whose Thunderhawk I posted on my Facebook page this past week. And uh, and yeah, he he has a, if you think my like <laughs> collection of old stuff is uh, expansive, I'm pretty sure Darren has one that rivals mine and he had these two in a box. So he was sending a care pack to Jay um, from Vancouver here in Ontario and uh, he threw these in for me and big thanks to him. So there you go, not as big a week as last week, obviously. I didn't paint 60 inches, I painted about half as many, but lots of projects got worked on and done, and I'm like roughly 30 things painted into the week, which is feeling pretty productive. I'm on a, I'm on a roll. You can tell when I get on a roll with painting. I'm trying to keep the keep the momentum going. Uh, so I'm gonna finish up that land speed, or the land speed, the support platform probably tonight so that I can uh, record some games in the weekend, and then probably get crack a lacking on the MCP stuff so that it's done for uh, games early next week. And then, after that, maybe next up will be the rest of the snare pieces for Silver Bandit, so I can I can just like crush through that and keep the steam going for um, playing those games. And then probably after the the, the thing after that will be uh, getting that authorized bounty hunter done for um, my next game with Jordan for Infinity. So yeah, lots of this is me like trying to prioritize. So lots of things on the go. You'll see next Saturday what does get finished. Till then, Ash, Apple Gaming. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that video. There are tons of other games already recorded for you to watch. Click over to my channel page if you haven't already, and have a look to the dozens of playlists full of videos. I guarantee you'll discover a game you haven't seen played before. I put out new videos seven days a week, and every day is themed to a different genre as I continue to explore the wider world of gaming. Of course, none of that's possible without you, the viewer, so click a like and subscribe if you'd like to stay on top of what's happening here daily. My two kids and I are massively grateful to be able to have the flexibility of this job so I can always maximize my time with them. If you want to support me continuing to put out this content, it's only possible because of my amazing backers on Patreon who support the studio, equipment, and model cost, as well as being how I make the bulk of my living. You can also help out by buying a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, a measuring gauge or widget from Death Ray Designs, or buying one of my games and supplements like Last Days, Game of Wolves, and Blaster. As a way of showing my appreciation, patrons get early access to new games and supplements that I write throughout the course of the year. Huge thanks for watching, it really does help out, and happy gaming.